Fed cut, right? Why? Well, as I said, you're going to get to the point where there's simply too much supply. Uh, people are going to stop buying. It's going to push us into a recession. Uh, uh, you know, unemployment is going to skyrocket in Q4, in my opinion. Watch for that. Maybe Q1, sometime between back to school, end of winter, big spike in not only inventories, but also unemployment. Now, the actual un unemployment number isn't the most important number. It's the rate of change of unemployment. Look for the rates that these numbers change to give you the short-term story. Okay, If you go back all the way to 1970, every time this ISM hit 50, the Fed had to pause or cut rates. Every time. So this ISM, which I talk about almost every week now, is the key variable. We're going to get into this with Raul when he comes on because I want to understand the history of this. But right now, it doesn't matter. All I'm telling you is, is the facts are the facts. And the facts are, this has led every time. In many cases, when the, ped, the Fed paused, CPI was still elevated or hadn't even peaked. Recession... Uh, Inflation is not the leading indicator here. It is the trailing indicator. If the Fed says inflation is at 9.1%, that's six weeks ago. 